Hey, what's up guys? Tony G here with Strictly Plumbers. This is the official script for plumbing companies. By the end of this video, you're going to learn uh, three things that customers want to know right off the bat as soon as they get on the phone with you. And three things that are going to make a killer dispatcher, a really good dispatcher. Um, also, you're going to have script that you can take with you, a Google document that uh, I've created that you can take with you and it's got all the questions that you should, your dispatch should be asking to basically capture that lead so that um, whenever, you know, a customer calls and they need a plumber, you actually schedule that appointment and we, and you make it on site. That's very important, right? Because what's the point of getting a bunch of leads if your dispatch is not scheduling them? So you want to use this script to help um, you don't have to use it word by word. Maybe you want to take some of the questions that we have in there and basically fine tune it, make it work for you. All right. So other than um, to me teaching you how to um, basically control that conversation, um, I also have a bunch of questions that every dispatcher should be asking uh, to wrap up that call solid so that the customer feels comfortable and they're waiting for you and they don't call for anyone else for other estimates. So if that sounds like something that you're going to learn uh, or that you want to learn more about, then then you're watching the right video. All right. So thanks again for uh, contacting me and, and working with me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to jump right in because we're going to keep it really short. All right. So this right here uh, is a Google Doc that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, and it's the dispatch script for plumbers. So the three things that the customer wants to know right now is, can you help me? How much do you charge? And when can you come? They really don't care about us as plumbers. They don't care about anything else but themselves. How much is it going to cost them? Can we help them? And when can we get there? Now, you know, most importantly, how much is it going to cost? So that uh, we also got the three key elements that make a great dispatcher. So the most important one is going to be to take control of the conversation by asking the right questions. And it, you know, at the bottom of this document, you'll see the more right questions, all the questions that we put together here at Strictly Plumbers uh, to make a good dispatcher. So the next thing is to make it easy to hear you and understand you. Um, we all could use a little bit of coaching on our dispatch. And so one thing you want to do is, um, you know, talk out loud like this, be very assertive. Um, don't, don't, don't sound shy. Don't sound too uh, low. Like maybe you're in a bad mood. Also, you know, it helps if you smile while you're talking, you put out a smile through the phone so people can read that. So if you get a dispatcher that's maybe in a bad mood, people could read that. Uh, rem remind them to uh, smile and that smile will go through the phone. Okay. Um, so the, one of the, uh, the last thing here, the key element uh, to make a great dispatcher is follow the same script and formula. It's called a formula for a time. You want to capture all the right information. That's really going to nail uh, you getting this as a lead and uh, keep them from calling anybody else. Okay. So those are the three things. Uh, dispatch script. So the first thing that a customer is going to, Say, as soon as you say, you know, thank you for calling so-and-so plumbing, how can I help you? They're going to say, hello, I need a plumber to help me with, or how much do you charge for? Um, or they'll ask, hey, is this so-and-so plumbing? Those are the most common questions, right? So the most common one is, hey, I need, you, um, I need a plumber to help me with, and they're going to explain their plumbing problem. Or they may just ask you right off the bat, how much do you charge? So as you can see, the blue is customer and the red is dispatch. So, um, you know, right off the bat, we need to be saying, hey, that's what we specialize in. What is your full name? So before I even jump into the rest of this, I'm going to say this. The way you're going to control the conversation is to make a comment and end it with a question every time. Comment end it with a question. So when the customer says, hello, I need a plumber to help me with, let's say drain cleaning, then you would say, well, we specialize in drain cleaning. What's your full name? You see, um, you're taking control of that conversation. Or if they say, how much do you charge for uh, drain cleaning? You can say, hey, we specialize in drain cleaning. What's your full name? 
right? So it's all about what we need to know uh, from them because they may not even be a good fit for you. Maybe it's a renter that, you know, can't get a hold of the homeowner and is shopping around. So you got to be careful who you're talking to and this script is going to help you figure out exactly what you need to do. And, um, you know, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff that you can do. So I'm keeping this as a short training. It's not like a uh, five hour training or anything like that. It's just real quick how you can uh, basically control that conversation and capture your lead. So when people ask you for a phone, for a, a, an amount, and they wanna know an amount they wanna know, and they, they don't wanna get off, they don't really want you to go to their house or their business, they want a, a, a price over the phone, this is what you could say when the customer asks, how much do you charge? You could say something like this. In order for you to avoid surprise fees, uh, we gotta see your plumbing in person, give you a free estimate with no obligation, and we promise not to give you a slimy sales pitch. Do you want a free estimate today, or does tomorrow work better for your schedule? Now that phrase right there is super powerful, all right? So you're basically like telling them why you're not gonna give them a, a, a price over the phone, and you're making them feel better because you're telling them that, hey, you're not gonna send a salesman or a slimy salesman out there, uh, we all got to have good sales skills, but you know what I'm talking about. So, um, and then you're telling them you're going to give them a free estimate with no obligation. So, you know, that's the name of the game. And if you do charge for estimate, well, that's fine. You know, that's not including like electronic slab leak detection um, or if you had to perform some type of something, anything, whatever it is, whether it's a crawl space, it's like gnarly. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to get in uh, because it's too tight. You know, uh, whatever the case is, sometimes you do have to charge for an estimate and sometimes you don't. I hope you guys get the point. So that is a very good, good phrase there. In order for you to avoid surprise fees, we need to see your plumbing in person so that we can give you a free estimate uh, with no obligation. And we promise not to give you a slimy sales pitch. Do you want a free estimate today or does tomorrow work for your schedule? So... No matter what, they're gonna answer your question, okay? So at this point, the customer's accepting that you, they're gonna you know, take a free estimate. They may have more questions from here. Just handle that as you go. Um, you know, the customer says, yes, please, today, or whatever. Uh, dispatch, you need to figure out if this person is gonna pay their bill. You know, me as a plumber, I remember going out to calls and the homeowner was not around, it was the renter, they didn't know what to do, they couldn't afford our price, and I'm out there at one in the morning trying to fix their plumbing and trying to get paid for it at the same time. So you gotta make sure that the dispatch is filtering the calls, making sure that we get to the right calls and we don't waste our time, right? Uh, so you wanna uh, figure out who's paying and try to get that information. So if it's a renter, Okay, does the homeowner know that we're coming? Does the homeowner know that you have a problem? Can we have your homeowner's phone number? Some people will say, no, well, we don't want you to talk to them, and so you gotta kinda go from there, right? So I'm gonna keep on going. I'm not gonna get hung up on that. The most important, some of the more important questions that you need to be asking are these here. What's your phone number? What's your address? So basically, as soon as you kick off the dispatch, with this right here and you take control of the conversation and you tell them we're gonna give you a free estimate, who are you the homeowner, yes, no, you are now, just start asking all the questions, okay? So what's your phone number, what's your address, is it a condo, is it a, uh, is it a home, suite, you know, do you have a dog or a cat? I've personally been bit by a dog while I was plumbing and I, you know, that really pissed me off, so, I always ask the guys to please put your dogs away. Um, I used to try to pet them and all that stuff. I found that it's just better to ask to put the dogs away because then if we leave the door open, or some of them are escape artists, you know, you kind of, you're walking in and they're walk, running out. So it's best just to ask them to keep that dog or cat in a different room. Also, um, will the homeowner, the business owner be on site, right? That's one thing, you know, you gotta get paid. If, you're, if, if we're gonna go, we're gonna fix your stuff, who, you know, can we contact the person that's gonna collect payment? Very important stuff. So uh, again, another question is, tell me more about your plumbing problem and try to get as many details as, 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 as possible. Now that you've gathered all their contact information, go back and basically 
um, gather as much detail about the job so you can fill in your plumber with all the right information, okay? Then you have more questions like, um, when was the last time this happened to figure out their pain points? Um, do you have any questions? That's one of the things that we're not asking um, customers. You know, we should be asking, do you have any other questions? Because they may just be holding back on comments and questions. And so you got to basically get that stuff out of them. Another thing, uh, uh, second to the last question is, how did you get our phone number? If you're tracking your marketing, you want to know where these calls are coming from, this is a very important question. Uh, last but not least, and I'm sure there's a lot of other questions that we can implement to this. Again, this is a short video to go over some script to help you with the fundamentals, the basics of dispatch. This is not like a 10 hour course. This video is almost over. You're going to get your Google document. Write down, you know, take these questions and basically make it work for your company, okay? So the last thing you need to uh, be saying, is not a question, it's more of a statement, is we're going to give you a call 30 minutes to an hour before we arrive. Let them know that. And then, yeah, I guess ask them if it's that's okay. You know, and they're typically going to say yes, and they'll appreciate that. And that actually makes it easy for you and dispatch to basically control your calls and make sure that uh, you're getting there on time and things like that. So calling, you know, as the plumber is in route to verify that they're there so the plumber doesn't waste his time. Sometimes people want to cancel, things like that. So you don't want to waste your gas money on going to calls. We all hate that stuff. Now, how many marketing agencies, how many marketers out there do you know that can give you information like this? They can talk about plumbing. They can talk about um, dispatch or clean out, hydrogen, and know the science behind it, know what it takes, know what it takes to like handle it, build it, do it. That's the that's what you get with Strictly Plumbers. You get me, Tony G. Is, I was a plumber for 15 years uh, prior to owning this marketing agency. So I stopped plumbing in 2016, right? And I've been marketing ever since. And we've, or I've cracked the code ever since. And, you know, uh, we've been very successful um, in generating clients for plumbing companies. And it's something that I'm putting um, a gas pedal on here with helping you guys with scripts to help dispatch because if I load you up with a bunch of leads and calls but you're not um, you know really you know taking down the information and scheduling the appointment because they're asking you how much do you charge you know and dispatch gives them a number and they say okay let me call you back have you had that before yes so this is gonna help a ton all right so use it as much as possible make it work for you um, this is a quick 15 minute uh, lesson that's teaching you more about dispatch and how to capture the calls. My name is Tony G. If you have any other questions, you can scroll to the very bottom of this and you can have, call me by, you know, dialing this phone number here. Um, you can email me, you can set an appointment by clicking on these things here. Uh, visit my Facebook or my website. All right, guys. So again, uh, Tony G here with Strictly Plumbers. Thanks again for uh, coming on board and coming on board with a specialist that only works with plumbing companies. So let's rock and roll. Let's make you some more money. I'll talk to you soon.